it's been a long journey since we entered Kenya, we discovered oil in 2012, and here we are today exporting the first oil. But, you know, that's been a long journey, but there's a long journey ahead. There's lots to look forward to. We were working in East Africa, in the Rift Basins, and we were sure there was oil in Kenya. We had already discovered oil in Uganda, and we were sure we could discover oil in Kenya. And our explorers, working with local community, did a great job. And obviously we had the success in Nagemia in 2012. It's not just the technical work about bringing the oil to the surface, finding it first, then developing and bringing it to the surface. There's a huge collaboration that's been going on. The government of Kenya, His Excellency, leading the government of Kenya, working with Turkana County, and, and the collaboration between so many people has been so important to get this oil exported today. Today we're producing 2,000 barrels a day, and on this ship that's just left, there was 240,000 barrels exported. Next year we're going to get to the final investment decision for the full field development, which will involve the pipeline from Lokachar over to Lamu. And when that is up and running, and we're producing oil through that pipeline, we'll be producing up to 100,000 barrels a day, and there'll be exports quite frequently maybe up to 500,000 or more uh, going off like today. Obviously it starts by bringing together the oil companies, ourself, uh, Africa Oil, Total, being working closely together, supporting each other to uh, find the oil and develop it. But the collaboration goes far beyond the oil companies. Turkana County Government, the uh, National Government, His Excellency has followed the journey. But I must also say the people of Turkana. They're our community, they're our neighbours, and we have to work so closely with them because they need to see benefit from their oil being delivered uh, as it is today and being exported. Since I started visiting Turkana in 2011, I can already see changes and evolution and social and economic development happening in Turkana, and I think that will continue. Yeah, Because as I say, this is about, to me it's about shared prosperity, it's about all of the people of Kenya, particularly those in Turkana, but all the people of Kenya benefiting from this oil through employment, through commercial development, but also through social development, education, health. Yeah, so there's much to look forward to. So I think the way one should think about oil is it's a finite resource. It can last for 20 years or 30 years, but that time can go quickly. So the most important thing is how does Kenya invest those revenues into other things such as agriculture, such as education, which obviously provide prosperity for the whole of the country on a much longer term than 20 or 30 years. I think what people should think of is just oil and gas being another part of the Kenyan economy. It will contribute to the Kenyan economy. I hope it becomes an important part, but it's just a contributor to what is already a successful, prosperous and very broad economy. Oh, there's a lot of work ahead. I mean, the team have done such a fantastic job getting us to today. Both the team in Tullo, here in, uh, in, in, in Mombasa, in Nairobi, up in Turkana. So there's many people in Tullo and our joint venture partners have worked so hard to get us to today. The good news is there's much work ahead to get us to the final investment decision next year. And then First Oil, and I hope to be there when we export oil through Lamu in 2023. It's just a, a great day for Kenya.